Hello everyone and welcome to a stats guide for managers for PCN um, starting season six um, with the new League Republic app. Um, so basically the last few seasons um, obviously we've been using Google Docs and um, this has had its ups and downs um, both for managers and for admins and in the end we decided to go with something um, that will allow us to streamline, streamline everything um, It'll just, you know, once everyone gets the hang of it, it should be easy on managers, easy on admins, and easy on players to look at stuff. Um, so if you're here at the PCN homepage, you will see the tables down here. And um, if you click on any of these teams, you click on these buttons, this will take you to the app. Um, another way you can get to the app is if you go to the forum. And you simply click stats app over here that will take you to the main um, page for everything um, and from here you can look at the different leagues you can click on the different cups if you click on a team you can see the roster um, and once we've started to play a bit longer um, now these matches will turn into results if you click here on view team statistics, this will start to fill out um, once people have games played. So that's basically just, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory. You can look up team stats, league stats, um, you can compare everything. It's, it's just a really useful tool without having to go through, you know, different Google Doc pages. So that's kind of the introduction right there. But what you're going to want to do is you're going to need to, if you're a manager or a co-manager, you need to tell an admin, um, you need to sign up. So you would go over here. I've already got an account um, for this, but basically you 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 would need to say sign out. And so you can log in or you can create a new account. But once basically once you've given us the email, um, it'll take you to a specific page and it'll be pretty easy for you to do that. So um, to set up an account if you don't already have one. So we'll go ahead and log in. Basically I set myself up. I set up a a fake game uh, between Dortmund and Bayern for tonight at 9 o'clock and I basically just want to show you what you would do if you were the manager and this was your game tonight. Um, so once you've gotten an account and you've been approved and you've logged in and everything this is what you should be able to see. You should see team administrator right here and then you should choose the Pro Clubs Nation team administrator and what you're basically want to do on game basis you're going to go here to results. And here's the game. You can see I set it up for tonight. At, uh, this is Sunday, October 8th. Um, 9 o'clock is the game. And um, nothing's in here yet. No stats, anything. This is basically how it would come and this is how it would look um, You know, as you go into before, before the game. So before the games, you're going to want to put your lineup in. So to do that, you're going to come over here, You know, whichever side you're on. Um, I, when it comes to game days, you'll have you'll be able to see more games. It'll have all your games for that night, and you can do this um, ahead of time and just get it out of the way. So basically, here's this is Byron's roster, obviously, but basically this will be your roster, and this is where you'll go before the games to get your lineup set. So you'll go through here. You can see all the positions. So let's just pick a few random positions for these guys and go ahead and put this lineup in for the game. Um, you can see... Try to, we're going to try to make it so um, we use uh, the more specific versions instead of just um, center mid, like midfielder, use, you know, center mid, or instead of center back, use right center back. It'll just help us um, keep track of who played what. Um, it'll help us for team of the season, things like that. So once you've picked all the positions for everybody, you're just going to want to click the started buttons on everybody. and the games played buttons. Um, now if it's, we'll just do this for now. So basically you put positions, put started, and put games played. You know, let's say this guy wasn't playing in the game, you know, obviously he would be unchecked. So once you get your lineup in, you hit update. All right, and so that should be saved and go back to results. And you can see now that you've got seven players started, seven player positions. So that's all you need to do before games. Get your lineup set, and you're all good to go. So once the game's been played now, um, in this scenario, Dortmund won this imaginary game 2-1 to one versus Bayern Munich. Once, once you've got the score in, you're going to want to put the score in right there, and then you're going to hit update. 
and it says your transaction was successful up here. Um, and you know, assuming you played the game, it was a score. You know, it's all you have to do. If if it's a it's a cup game, and say it was one to one after extra time, and then the Dortmund scored the other goal, then you would put two over here. So it's two it's two to one. Um, so basically, what we'd do if it was a cup game. The only other thing you might need to do if, if there's a scenario where a game is postponed or canceled or um, you know a team doesn't show up or defaults for some reason, you can use these options here and just click whichever option it is and then you'll just go ahead and hit update again. So let's go ahead, put those back in, scroll down here and let's go ahead and put some stats in. So I knew we're doing a few new stats for this FIFA. Um, we're gonna see how they work. We may may tweak them a little bit, but uh, the biggest one is gonna be this draw less and draw loss in one. So you know, in this case, Bayern Munich lost the game. Um, so every single player who played is gonna get a check in the loss column. Um, and then for over here, let's just give some a few random stats out. Say he scored, he assisted. You know, basically you just go down. Don't don't worry about putting zeros in for everybody. That'll be a pain in the butt for you. Um, you're just not going to want to do it. Um, possession one, this is a new stat. You can always see it on the player performance tab. Um, so this goes for all players, um, defenders, um, strikers, midfielders, everything. Um, tackles, interceptions, tackles still go for defenders up through midfield. Interceptions from defenders through attacking midfield. Um, passing points is a little bit different this time. Instead of going, you know, 96%, 75, etc., you're going to need to actually put how many points they got. Um, you can see on the rules and the guides, it's basically 100% is 4. If it's in the 90s, it's 3. If it's in the 80s, it's 2. If it's in the 70s, it's 1. If it's below that, you don't get anything. Um, so that'll be something. It'll take a little, first couple games you might have to look it up, but you'll, it, it'll become second nature really quickly. Um, Next thing is going to be goals against. That's a new scenario. Um, I think I said that, yes, so these two are defenders, and this is a CDM. So they give up two goals, and this is also the goal up here at the top. So all these defenders, defensive mids, and goalies, you're going to get goals against now. Um, own goals obviously would go here. Let's say he made five saves. No clean sheet, but if he had to get a clean sheet, you would click there for the goalie. You would click here for the other three. Um, you got cards in the next column. Obviously, if anyone got yellow cards, you can want to do that there. Let's say this guy got a straight red. Because um, that'll just help the system know that the next game, certain players can or cannot play. Um, you may have the match. You can give a mana match to whoever you want, however you want. If you feel like your team played really bad, you don't have to give one. It's up to you. It's up to your manager, you know, however you want to do that. Um, let's say this guy got man of the match. Any is just going to be... Whoever played the any role, um, we're not going to give out points for them scoring with the computer anymore. Just a simple, did this person play the any? So once you've got all your stats in, just go click the update button. It'll take a second to process. All right, looks like it has taken. So go back to results just to make sure. And you can see now, you can see all this, you can see the scores are here. Um, and you can see the statistics all here. And the last thing you want to do um, is, you know, once the game's over, you can go put your Xbox DVR, your Xbox clips, whatever site you use, you're just going to want to put that direct URL to the video. Um, don't just put your account. It'll just really help admins because we're going to go back through. We're going to make sure all the stats are correct. Um, we'll, if there's any discrepancies, we'll contact you. Um, hopefully there won't be. Hopefully this will get... After a week or two, people just this will just get real easy for everybody. So you're basically just going to put this in, in this note. You're going to put the, the direct link. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, once you do all this, an admin will um, go through. They'll confirm the score. They'll confirm your stats. And everything will update. Um, here in the app, you'll see the standings change. You'll see the results change. It'll just automatically go ahead and do that. Um, the last thing to kind of mention is you probably saw a little bit um, over here on the right. Basically, if this was a cup match instead of a normal league match, you you would put the position in and you would put started, but you would not use this game's played. You wouldn't use any of these normal stat columns. 
basically pregame, all you would want to do, let's just, I'm not going to spend the time declicking, but basically none of, none of this would have anything in it. You would have the position, you would have started. Oh no, sorry, you would, just position, don't worry about started, so if this was a cup game, no started. Basically, you would just come over here, you put their position, and then you would click cup started for all these guys. Um, so all these guys start the cup game, you have their position, just update, that's all you gotta do before the game, and then after the game you come in, obviously our cup stats are pretty simple, so you just put the stats in, say these guys got a clean sheet, or they got defensive clean sheets, he got the goalie clean sheet, and there's your man of the match, and you would just hit update, you do the same thing. Um, it, there's probably gonna be some mistakes on this one, but just please try to... You know, most of the time it's going to be a league game, but if it is a cup game, make sure you don't use don't use these stats um, through here. Just go down here, go to the cup area, and do everything here. You will have to put cards in. If there were any cards, it's in the same spot. So if a red card in the league, you know, in the cup, it's the same thing. So you'll 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 do that. Um, but otherwise, you would just go ahead and update this. It's a little bit easier in the cup games, but just make sure to do that. Um, other than that, that pretty much wraps it up. Um, you'll only be able to see the most recent um, games and you know the few upcoming games. You won't see the whole your whole schedule on here. So usually there'll be more than this one game. Obviously, um, you can go in. Just the biggest thing is to just try to put your lineups in before the games and make sure once the game is over, you update the score as quickly as you can so we can update the standings. And then go ahead and update all the player statistics. Um, and make sure you have a link because if you don't have a link, we probably we're probably we, we're, we're just not going to give stats this year if you don't have a link. And we really need stats because you know there's a lot of players out there who have been kind of unrecognized in the past because they didn't have them. A lot of players have gotten cards and maybe were suspended, should have been suspended that we didn't know about. So just if every manager can do this, you know, you have two co-managers now who can help you with this. They can get their own logins, or you can use the same one. It doesn't matter. Just should be a simple, easy solution for stats going forward. Um, we're looking forward to it. Should just be should just be a really nice, easy way to organize everything. You know, first week or so, leave some growing pains, but then everyone will get used to it, and it should be should be good, nice, and easy. So. Um, Looking forward to season six, everybody, and uh, that'll about do it.